my first question is under the name universal brotherhood you are advertising islam and on the basis of that please define your terms when you are saying that universal brotherhood you should act under the name universal brotherhood brotherhood you should accept brotherhood to all whether muslims that is follower of islam and non muslims which you say kafir who don't otherwise got the term muslim brotherhood it will be okay so we ask a question that in the name of universal brotherhood i am promoting islam suppose if i have to say that the best cloth i am promoting best cloth in market and suppose raymond has to be the best cloth so it's the fact i am promoting raymond if raymond company is best anyway i don't get any cut from raymond that's an example i am not a dealer of raymond but if i say the best cloth is raymond and if the talk is which is the best cloth i have to speak about that so i am giving a talk on who is the best doctor in the world and if i have to take a person in xyz and if he is the best doctor i am promoting him yes so similarly universal brotherhood i am telling you that islam is a religion which speaks about universal brotherhood and shows you a way how to achieve it regarding a question that in universal brotherhood can you call muslim and non muslim as brother or only muslim as brothers the universal brotherhood of islam is all human beings are your brother i made it very clear in my talk i am not mincing with words i am very clear maybe it may have slipped you may not have heard it and start my talk it's for hujura chapter 49 verse 13 ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min zakkin wa unsa wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila litarafu inna karamakum min dallahi yatqakum inna allah alimun khabir that oh human kind we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of allah is the person who has taqwa who has righteousness who has piety who has god consciousness in the universal brotherhood are all human beings the person who has got piety is one who has taqwa or righteousness i have got two brothers one is a good person actually i have got one brother only but suppose i have two brothers one is a medical doctor like this brother and treating the patient etc cure and the other brother is a drunkard is a rapist both are my brothers who is a better brother a brother who the doctor and treat the people and doesn't cause harm to the society the other brother is my brother but he's not a good brother of mine similarly all human beings are my brothers but those who are closer to me are those who have taqwa who has righteousness who has piety anyone who has piety who has righteousness who has god consciousness is closer to me it's very clear i've said my talk and i repeat it hope that answers the question